How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Hey, Mary Beth. Okay, Arthur. Reverend? Hello, Mr. Morgan. Pearson? Hello, Arthur! What? <laughs> Are you all right, Morgan? You seem very... tense. Shut up. Hi, Susan. Well, hi. Place is on edge. Hey, Uncle. Mr. Morgan? Hi, Javier. Arthur. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> Poor Karen. Here we are, Arthur. Tilly. Hello, Arthur. Bill. Hey, Morgan. Javier. Hey there. What's your problem, brother? Uh. You no problem. No, you've got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain. 
And you use yours. Oh, you want to die? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. Seems he's picked his side. Other sides now? Seems that way. You all right, girl? Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on that. now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, ah went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Hamish! Hamish! 
He's bigger than I remember. Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. Well. <coughs> Come on up here. You lost anything? It's just my rod. We got my toes, too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Hey, hey! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Bring it in now. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. Here, here, oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Okay, my girl. Like you done hit your head. Hey there. Hello? We're not looking for company or conversation, so you just stay back.
Don't do it. This is uh, very you boy, kind son. of you. I will be tied up like some slave. <laughs> nice meeting you. Let's go, girl. Look out! Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, girl. Okay then, girl. Yep. I'll show you. I better get moving.
Don't seem close. There. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you got to hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out, wait to breathe out. Ah. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. 
<laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And you were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in this, crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are.
How you holding up? Bad. I can't take everyone going at each other. Me too. Let's hope for a better day. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Well, I'm feeling a little busy. Good morning. Hello, old boy. Rest your bones. Reverend? I think you did the right thing with Herr Strauss. It was time. Thank you. Hey, get up. Oh, what is it? I got to sleep, Arthur. How you doing? Been thinking more about Dutch and Eagle Flies. It can only end badly. Now, there's only so much we can do about it. Ah, long day ahead. Morning. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. You going to get up? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. You awake yet? You okay, Arthur? Sit down, please. <clears throat> I'm fine. You don't look fine. Well, I had some, uh, some bad news. Was it Mary? No, no, not exactly. That's me. I'm sick. Sick? Yeah. I might die. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Maybe you'll get better. I don't think so. Then... Then I'm sorry. Only the thing is, since then, <clears throat> since then, I've started seeing things differently. I don't know. The whole world seems different somehow. How so? I can't explain it. Like, Better, almost. That a good thing? I guess it is. Only sometimes I ain't doing the good thing. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Karen? Try to do the good thing. I guess. 
Only it ain't always clear what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the big stuff. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Pearson. Oh, hell. Hey, Tilly. Hope we have a better day. <laughs> you all right, girl? You done good, girl. Welcome back, sir. Would you look at this pale old brute? Must have found him up north, right? Right, let's see. I hope you make good use of that. All made to measure. If you don't want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. Good hunting. Hey there, Both girl. saddles delivered right to your stable. Welcome in these parts. Ah! The Murphys remember what you did to them. Jesus, Mercury hails. Always will be. I'm gonna keep your tongue. Free friend. Talk to her. This is uh, very kind of you.
Hello, mister. Hello, gentlemen. Hello there. Oh, hello. How do you do, sir? Been a while since you were around this way. Hello. Run up a tab now, have we? Bye. Hey, friend. Hello. <laughs> Hi there, mister. Hey there, mister. Hey, mister. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Hello, sir. This is ridiculous, mate. You're telling me. Might be time to call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he is. No, no, I'll find him. Oh, he's, he's probably just off on a spree if I know Gav. <laughs> Well, good luck. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, whoa, Gav! Easy, girl, it's okay. Whoa, Where whoa, are you? good girl. Easy. Where are you? You think nothing. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I, I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. Boss, gonna be so. something in that tea.
you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Oh, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully and he's waited or so his letters say, our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> and not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family, to be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. I'm jogging gun. You came! <laughs> you came! At last, you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Two for Boston and one of, well, wherever it stops first, please. Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, no you no. Make no. Excuse me, Alden. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fairy. I want to come back here without giving you a whipping. We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Paul. Go to your wall. Or fish.
fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Oh, my God. Ah. Doesn't matter, he can fight! Oh, no, there's only one Quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'm gonna deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state, the amount of your... Us. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That brave white treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! <laughs> 